Welcome to the seventh episode of My Three Thoughts. In this episode, I talk about David Goggins' book, Can't Hurt Me, and My Three Thoughts, which are The Gift of Suffering, 40% Rule, and Own the Truth. So let's get into it. I'm your host, Alexander, the Great Reader, and this is a podcast where we read, study lessons, and build our inner power because the next level we will reach does not tolerate cowards. I have to say that what inspired me to read this book is the several podcast interviews that David Goggins did. He did two amazing ones with Joe Rogan, one with Tom Bailey. And his uh, Impact Theory podcast, I listened to one he did with Lewis Haas. And another one he actually did with Grant Cardone that was really good. So that led me to being like, I got to read this guy's book because just the podcasts were inspiring me to run more and, and take a new look at my mindset and what's holding me back, my fixed mindsets the things that I am allowing to hold me back. Now, the first thought I got from this book is the gift of suffering. And a quick disclaimer is I know a lot of people are suffering and won't view this as suffering. But when it comes to suffering, as far as I've read, uh, Viktor Frankl sees it the same kind of way that David Goggins sees it. And Viktor Frankl wrote a book called The Man's Search of Meaning, and he was actually someone who survived the Holocaust. And he was a psychologist, so he viewed it differently than everybody. He viewed it as a psychological experiment. And when he got out of it is the attitude that people had was what determined if they were going to survive or not, determined if they were going to die or not, basically. So he can tell by their attitude that this person's going to die. This person gave up. And then he'll see others that this person's going to keep keep on living. And even things like stealing other people's food, stealing their clothes, those little things, he was like, they have an attitude of they want to live. And David Goggins suffered a lot. And through that suffering, he was actually admired. He had a hard childhood that he suffered a lot and he had to endure everything of a a horrible father he had to endure three navy seal buds trainings which is like hell the way he describes it it sounded like hell he had to go to three because two of them he had to either one of them i think he got disqualified another one he was just too hurt and he couldn't keep going on so he had to go to three of those hells and he viewed suffering as like bring it on and it was building him to be very strong mentally. And that is why he's very sought after by people because suffering is something that everyone goes through, everyone faces throughout their lifetime. There's different levels of suffering, different level experiences of suffering, but it's all mental, the way Goggins explains it. And he's sought after. And his book is one of the best sellers because of that, because People are amazed at the level of suffering he can endure, especially now that he's a a runner or an ultra marathon athlete. He runs a lot of miles, like 200 miles, he swims a lot, he bikes a lot. So that's what inspires people to come to him and say, teach me how to endure so long and suffer like you because it's one of the benefits of suffering is being better than others because... When you're running a lot or running a business or doing anything that has suffering in it, and if you can endure than others, you're going to come out victorious. And it's actually not to get religious. I'm not a religious person. I do read the Bible a lot. And one of the gifts of the Spirit is suffering. And that's what came to my mind. Like, man, this man embodies what suffering, the gift of suffering is. And when you suffer, you appreciate things more. You're able to go longer. You're able to have clarity. 
you're able to become stronger, face new challenges, go to new heights. So that's what I got. That was the first thing I got. The second thing I got is this 40% rule that he talks about. And it's basically, he believes that at 40% of whatever you're trying to do, your mind is going to tell you that's enough. You've gone far enough. That's it. And there's a lot of truth to that when it comes to reading, because, you know, this is what the podcast is about. And when reading, when I reached like 100 books, I was like, and it was already like July, I was like, that's enough. You know, like, take it slow. You got, you already have read more than enough. You've sacrificed a lot. Not really suffered, but... I was giving up at 40% because I kept pushing at the same pace and I ended up reading 216 books. And that's what kind of he's telling you that most of the times we're like, say you're running and you're just like, oh, I already ran the three miles, but you can keep going. Just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until failure. Your body just like, it just can't. And that's what he's trying to tell you. And you'll, you'll see how far you've gotten and go, oh, wow, I was only intending to re- run three miles, but I ended up running seven or eight. I, get, I can't believe this. And it's just because you push yourself past that 40% and seeing what you're really made of. And that's what I did. I pushed myself past that 40% of reading 100 books. The last thought I got is own the truth. And this is a message that resonates to me personally because I like, I like the hard messenger. Although in the Bible it says, listen to the soft messenger, which is like... Some Like your parents telling you, those people are bad news, you should stay away from them. And then you say, yeah, whatever. And then you actually go and hang out with those people and you get into yourself. And then that's the hard messenger is like the police officer or you're being sued or something, you know. And that's the hard messenger. Like, oh, God, I should have listened to my the soft messenger, which was my parents. So you got to own the truth. And the truth, like for me, is, you know, I'm out of shape. I'm fat. I got to just say it. I'm fat. I'm out of shape and I need to eat better. I need to start running more longer distances and harder. That's the truth. And I I need to own that and not just be like complacent. Like my wife says, oh, you're fine. You look fine. And that's being complacent and being around people that will help you own that truth saying, yeah, you are fat. You need to run faster. You need to eat healthier. Don't eat that crap. You need a people like that. And David Goggins believes in that. And I personally believe that that's the best way to achieve success is having people who are going to push you in that way. Some people can, you know, do achieve through optimism and I don't want to say happy, but positivity. But I believe I get pushed harder when you just come to me and tell me my truth and I own that truth. And then you say, you know what, I'm going to do this. And I own it. Just like reading, I, I started owning the truth. Like, yeah, you know, I'm, I, I don't really have a lot of grammar capabilities or foundational knowledge. I really never read novels in my whole entire life. I rarely read ever. I, you know, I don't own businesses, but I read business books. So I'm just pushing through. I'm owning the truth, but, it, you know, I get past it. And those are my three thoughts in this book. To me, is how it has been. I haven't read a better book this year. I've re- already read like 21 books, and it's the best one I've read. I recommend it to you. It's an amazing book. He's an amazing man. And I'll catch you on the next one. Please subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or Anchor, or any other podcasting platform so you don't miss my next episode where I give my three thoughts on Ernest Becker's book, The Denial of Death.